Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Hyperpigmentation is by far the number one skin concern for darker skin complexions. We pigment so easily, be it a little cut, be it acne, be it just darkness that just arises on your skin. And one of the areas where we find a lot of darkness is on our lips or around our mouth. As you guys can tell from the title, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a kit that was sent to me from Dr. Benita Ratan. If you don't know who she is, she is a doctor and a cosmetic formulator for skin of color. You can find her at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic here on YouTube, as well as on Instagram, and I absolutely recommend anybody with melanated skin, please look at her because she knows all the tea about melanin, all the tea about skin pigmentation. So check her out. I am so grateful to have been able to try out this kit before it's released, and it will be released on Tuesday, September 8th, in case you wanted to go ahead and pick one up for yourself. Let's talk about this kit a little bit and get further acquainted. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and here on YouTube, YouTube, I post a lot of skincare, lifestyle, beauty, and sometimes hair related stuff. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. If you're coming back for another video because you got the notification, then what's up Adams family? Without further ado, let's get started. So in this kit, there are three products. The first being the lip scrub. Then we have a lip balm. And then there is a lip mask as well. This one right here, it's like a gel. And to really understand how these work, you have to have an understanding of how pigmentation happens. Not only is this going to exfoliate your lips, plump them and keep them nice and moisturized, what sets this apart from really every other lip kit that you'll find out there is that this one actually has terosinate inhibitors. And this is gonna inhibit and block the melanin producers in your skin. I talked about this a little bit in my how long does it take for your products to work on your skin, but essentially you need to inhibit the overproduction of melanin before you can actually fade hyperpigmentation. And that's exactly what this is going to do. So first, as we mentioned, is the lip scrub. And I did get a little pamphlet full of information so I can share with you guys. So this scrub has retinal palmitate, which is a very gentle form of vitamin A, which is retinol. According to Dr. V, this is the best form of vitamin A, specifically for lips on people of color. So it's gonna be gentle. The last thing you wanna do when you're trying to get rid of dark spots is to use ingredients and products that are too harsh, because then your skin will be reacting to it, creating more pigment while you're trying to get rid of it. So you're not really getting anywhere, right? It also has kojic acid in the form of kojic depalmatate, which is the one that is great for skin of color. It has alpha arbutin, which we all know and love and it also has licorice extract. So all of these are terosinate inhibitors, which is the melanin inhibitors in your skin, or in your lips, I should say, specifically. So this is what it looks like. It's clear, basically, and in terms of texture, it's very soft. As for scent, it doesn't really smell like anything. I think I just got on my nose. Look, there are people who will scrub their lips and they will look so pretty. I'm not one of those people at all. <laughs> it is tingling just a little bit, most likely because of the scrubbing action. It doesn't feel like it's a, like a menthol or a peppermint or anything like that. And it, you can taste the sugar, of course. Next is the Lip X Mask, and the star ingredients are azeloglycina, which is a mixture of azelic acid and um, glycerin. And this is once again gonna be gentle on your skin while still brightening the lips as well. Next, we have niacinamide, which is one of my favorite ingredients for all skin types, really, because it's so gentle and it's great for brightening. It has alpha arbutin, it has phytic acid, which is going to inhibit the melanocytes on the epidermal and the dermal levels of the skin. Okay, next we have the lip mask. Okay, it's like a little gel consistency. Slightly tacky, but not sticky. And it smells like, it smells like CeraVe products, which I come to know and expect from Dr. V since she doesn't like fragrance just like myself. So I am excited about that. Put this on, leave on for 15 to 25 minutes and wash off. <laughs> you don't want this in your mouth. It doesn't have the nice taste. Yeah, I'm gonna clean out the inside. There we go. Good. So this is the mask. It 
It's slightly tacky. It's a thick solution. It actually absorbs quite quickly and I can barely even feel it anymore. But um, it's a thick liquid, like a thick gel. Once again, no scent, but it does have like a bitter taste, so don't get it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's take this mask off. Lastly, we have the balm. So Dr. V Balm has Octodecoin, listen, I'll put these names on the screen. <laughs> It's alpha arbutin, kojic, uh, depalmitate, like we said before, niacinamide, potassium. Now, I'm sure I've butchered every single one of these ingredients, so they are here on the screen. And these are all tyrosinate inhibitors. So then it has tocopherol acetate, and this is vitamin E. It's gonna be very moisturizing for you. All right, so here's the lip balm. There you go. Very buttery. You don't need a lot of this, so. I'm just gonna put some of that back. <laughs> it smells like shea butter, which makes sense because it's the third ingredient in here. So this one does have a scent, but it's shea butter. It's not like it's a fragrant or a perfume that's added to it. It feels very lightweight, but you can obviously feel it on your lips. And so you're supposed to wear it two hours before going to bed, I'm assuming, so it doesn't rub off on your... The lip balm and the scrub do have a light scent of shea butter, and this is of course because that is the base of the product. They have a base of uh, shea butter, petroleum, paraffin, and jojoba oil, and then the tocopherol acetate, and then below that is all the other extracts that we talked about before. So very nice blend there. I think that this is really, really moisturizing. I don't feel any dryness on my lips when I'm using this whatsoever, regardless if I'm using the scrub or the mask or the actual balm. It's very, very nice. And when I do wake up in the morning, what I love about this is that my lips still feel nice and hydrated. So as I said before, I've used this for about 10 days so far, and I haven't had any irritation on my lips whatsoever so that is always music to my ears it is quite gentle while still being quite strong I haven't seen any significant lightening of my skin as of yet however this is a long process it's gonna take three months before you can see like a difference on your skin so I will be giving you guys an update once I've used it for a lot longer so other things that I want to mention although this product has a lot of acids there is no tingly feeling on your lips so you don't feel like anything's burning I don't believe that things have to burn to actually work on your skin and you don't get that from these at all it just feels like you're putting a beautiful jelly on your lips and a beautiful shea butter on your lips it doesn't feel irritating whatsoever so I love that um, my lips themselves I've had darkness over my lips since I think since I was in like my teen years when I was little my lips did not look like this You guys can tell like the top of my lip even though I'm wearing a little bit of just a tiny bit of lip gloss today the top of my lip looks a lot darker than the bottom of my lip okay so here are my natural lips and as you guys can see there's a little bit of darkness up here that just isn't here there's a bit of darkness here on the sides as well and then darkness here by the top of my lips and that's exactly what i'm hoping that this will get rid of the spf that i use is just the blistex spf it costs like five dollars for a pack of three and this has spf 15 and i'll put this on my lips literally like every every 30 minutes i'm always putting on lip balm so i have like tons of these everywhere so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i loved making it thank you again dr benita ratan for sending this over to me to try i'm super excited to try it for the next three months and really see what wonders this can do for my lips as always go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video bye